Greetings from Portland, Oregon, where it's always raining. All right, welcome to the inside of my cigar box guitar shop studio slash. This is the north wall. I got a, a shelf on my uh, east wall here where I got paint up here. Um, screws, cigar boxes, a plenty. Nice overhead lamp. Um, here's a little workbench with my grinder. And my fretting tabletop little mini table saw. And I got a few little things going on. I got these little cute little templates for mini Telecaster and Stratocaster on a piece of mahogany. So I'm going to turn this into a cigar box style guitar. That and a Les Paul as well. Nice chunk of mahogany there. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of boxes, some of these antique boxes that I found at thrift stores. Um, Chicago Motor Club. It's an awesome box. Look at the paper is just deteriorating on the inside there. That's so cool. Here's a genuine Cuban cigar box. You can tell it's genuine Cuban from the logo on the back and of course the seal. This box here I've been carrying around since high school. It's a nice wooden box. Um, it's got all my high school stuff in there. And looks like it's made out of cedar. Uh, and last but not least is a box that I inherited from my grandmother. She kept all of her jewelry, jewelry making stuff in here. And this is a um, solid box. It's wood. Anyhow, that's it. I will spin the camera around and let you see the south wall. All right, we got you all spun around, and so now that's south. So out the window there, I get to see all these nice, awesome rain puddles. Uh, this side here, drill press, scroll saw, aprons that I never use, schematics that are taped to the wall so that every time I do soldering, I get them exactly, exactly the same. I got some wood material up here for fretboards and necks. Got some nice rosewood. Red heartwood, walnut. Keep my frets in here, pickups, tuners, input jacks and potentiometers. Wire, glue, strings, oil, stain, sandpaper. I got my clamps back here. Awesome, real sharp. I mean, this awesome saw. And everybody's universal tool, this is a fret saw. And of course, files and safety glasses. Oh, and the vise. Can't forget the vise. Oh, or the um, rip saw and the sander. Yes, the sander, this one here, they got it to me for Christmas and that is an awesome, awesome, awesome tool. All right, I wanted to take a little time and uh, reintroduce you to my very, this is the oldest cigar box guitar that I own, that I built, it's my second one. So I hang on to this one and I like to pick it up from time to time just to kind of feel the difference. This one is number three, and I have a bolt for the bottom and a bolt for the top.
Number 100, built from an authentic Cuban cigar box. You can tell by the official seal there. And this one is electric. It's got a disc piezo, but I wanted you to hear what it sounds like unplugged. Build number 105, Arturo Fuente, with a single sound hole cut using a circular saw. I have springs on the inside. Uh, the interesting thing about this one here is that the fingerboard is a ruler just glued to a piece of pine. There's a disc piezo right about there. So this one here can be played with a slide. Or play with your fingers.